Hello, YouTube! I am Emma, and I am so thankful that you are here. You are incredible, and I'm so excited because today we're going to be talking about not being liked by everybody. And this is something that God has really been teaching me a lot lately, and He showed it to me in a way I probably wasn't expecting. So me and my sister, we were driving to home one day from school. And I was, we were driving down the road and all of a sudden a car pulls out and they pull out into the lane. We're driving this way, they're driving straight at us. And I was so thankful it wasn't a big traffic area and so I was, I honked my horn and that was a big deal because I normally only do that at like squirrels, you know what I'm saying? And so that was a big deal, but I honked my horn just to let them know and then I moved over to the next lane, but I actually, turned to my sister and I actually asked, wait, am I in the right lane? Like, I questioned if I was going the right way simply because I saw something coming at me from the other way. And I thought, oh, wow. Oh, and P.S. We're all okay. Nobody got hurt as well. So we're good. But I started to think, oh my goodness, how often does that happen to us? When we are walking in the light of who God has called us to be. And you're like, Emma, what does that mean? What does that mean that I'm walking in the light of what God has called me to be? In other words, when you're doing you, when you're wearing, like for me, for example, when I'm wearing my socks on the outside of my pants because I love wearing my socks on the outside of my pants, when I choose to curl my hair because I want to curl my hair, when I smile because the joy of the Lord is my strength and I can't keep it in, and so I choose to smile. When I want to sing, I am singing because this is the day that the Lord has made and I I rejoice and I, I am glad in that. When I, I, when I choose to have a blue backpack, when everyone else is picking out a pink one, just because I wanted a blue one. And I'm, I'm walking down the lane that God has called me to walk in. I'm encouraging people. I'm sending kind text messages. I'm making posts about him. I'm doing videos about him to share with people how much he loves them. I'm just walking in obedience. And then all of a sudden I see someone coming at me in the opposite direction. In other words, I see someone coming at me and they're maybe laughing at me because they think my smile is weird. Or they're maybe looking down at my socks. Why do you wear your socks on the outside of your pants? Don't you know we all have pink backpacks? Why on earth would you choose to pick out a blue one? And all of these little oops, cars, cars are coming at me. In other words, flaming arrows from the enemy are coming at me. Why do you keep sending encouraging text messages to people? Don't you know that they probably get aggravated by that? Why on earth do you let your Instagram captions be so long? You know that no one has the time to read those. Whoa. What if I allowed that moving car in front of me to cause me to question of whether or not I was in the right lane? If I allowed that to make me question if I was in the right lane or not, I would put my socks on the inside of my pants. I would wear my hair straight. I would go and I would buy a pink backpack. I would stop sending encouraging texts. I would make my captions one line long. I would, I would completely take away everything that was truly me because I felt like I had to meet the standard of being liked by everyone to avoid any possibility of a car coming at me with an opposing opinion. If I ever allow the perceived reactions of other people to determine how I act, I will never be who God has called me to be. God set you apart. He made you in his image. He made you to be you, not to be someone else. How beautiful is that? But when I, when I feel like I have to be liked by everybody, and when I have this mentality that I am going in my lane and I somehow think that there's gonna be no one that ever disagrees with me, there's gonna be no one that ever comes at me and has an opposing opinion, oh, <laughs> then I'm in a dangerous place because that just isn't real life. There are gonna be people that don't like you. There are gonna be people that disagree with you. There are gonna be people that disapprove of your style. But can I tell you that Jesus wasn't liked by everybody? Jesus had people that one day they were praising his name and the next day they were just crying out, crucify him, we don't want him anymore. 
And there will be days where people are putting every type of comment on your page that is, oh, you look fantastic. Your hair looks amazing. I love your socks. Your encouragement, your encouragement makes me smile so big. But then tomorrow, it's gonna be you. You need to get your act together. That Jesus you believe in is fairy tales. Your hair just doesn't, it just doesn't go with my flow. You need to, you need to fix it and make it straight because that's just the trend right now, okay? You guys, you guys, if I allow my actions to be based on how other people will react, I will never be who God has called me to be. If I allow how I act to be determined by the opinions of other people, then on the day that everyone is complimenting me, I'm gonna be up here. But then tomorrow I'm gonna be down here because what if their comments are negative? But if I realize that from Galatians 1.10, am I here for the approval of people? No indeed, what I'm here for is my God's approval. Then I can just remain steady. I can remain constant, I can remain steadfast, because I know that my identity is not found in the world, but it's found in God's word. And what's so cool is in this world, you will be pressed on every side. You will be told trends that you need to follow. You will be told standards that you need to live up to. You will be told that you're not good enough. And then the next day you'll be told that you are just incredibly perfect. And in the midst of hearing all of these comments, when you know who you are in Christ, when you're squeezed, God's word is gonna come out. So when you fill yourself with, I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I am a daughter of the King. I am not here for the approval of man because I already have the approval of my God. I am made in his image. He is enthralled by my beauty. I am his darling and there is no flaw in me. I was made for such a time as this. He dwells within me and I will not fall. And he, he is my help at the break of day. Whoa. Then the moments that those cars start driving at me of insecurity that I'm not good enough, guess what comes out? the truth of my identity in Christ. When those cars start coming at me of, of fear and doubt that I may not be in the right lane, that I may not be living out who I'm supposed to be simply because I'm comparing it to the trends of this world, well, guess what's gonna come out? I'm set apart and I was not made to be like the world it actually says that I'm an alien to this world because I set my eyes not on what is seen, but I am here for the eternal purpose of being who God has called me to be, loving him and loving his people. So I just want to encourage you that if you don't feel like you're liked by everybody, you aren't, and that's okay because you weren't made to be. Your smile and your joy should be found solely in the fact that God is smiling on you and his trends and his standards never change. They are constant and you have been sealed in that approval. I love y'all so much. Please feel free to comment below and know that you're so loved. Know that you're so cherished and know that God not only, he not only loves you, but he really likes you too. And that's all that you need. That's all that you need. Y'all are so amazing. And I also want to give a huge thank you to the incredible How to Life movement that makes all of this possible, that has all these cool lights and there's, oh my gracious, their heart behind the lights and behind the cameras is even more beautiful. The How to Life movement, I've had the honor of speaking with them multiple times and they are a completely student-led movement. I'm talking like students are stepping up and leading worship. They're stepping up and they're sharing their testimony. They're organizing these events so that their peers can come to know Jesus Christ. It is incredible and I love it because they totally are embodying who we have been called to be. We have been called to be the light of the world and the time to be the light isn't when we feel ready, isn't when we graduate high school, isn't when we get married. It's right now because the right time to do the right thing is right now. And I am so inspired by them and getting to partner with them because that's exactly what they're doing. So if y'all go and subscribe to them and, and like their content, it's so beautiful. I love y'all and y'all don't forget how amazing you are. And don't forget that you weren't made to be liked by everybody. And that's okay because Jesus loves you and you can walk so confidently in that. And you don't have to question the lane that you're in because your lane was specifically called carved out for you to walk in. In Jesus' name, A to the men. Bye y'all, I love you so much.